Hello there, welcome to my channel. I am Dave, the Estate Cleaner, and this video is for what sold in on eBay. What sold on eBay for the first week of December. It's been a, quite a while since I've done one of these, simply because I was waiting on uh, packages to get delivered and things that were behind. Some of them were were very late, including this one from this first week, so I wanted to uh, make sure that that got delivered and everything worked out okay with that before I did any videos. So anyway, with all that, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started on the video. So the first thing that we sold this week was, let's go right here, it is going to be this. It's a fork, a carving fork to be precise, uh, from a company called Royalton. I know very little about it. I paid a quarter for it. I listed it, get it, I listed it June 14th, 2015. I am a strong believer of list it and forget it. I do not have time to go back and and keep fixing things and changing things and relisting things and I have a ton of other things to do so I list it and forget it and I'm happy with it. I did have free, see I had free shipping on that. That's a little strange. Uh, I, I experiment with that once in a while. I don't like free shipping. Um, I know I know that there's no such thing as free shipping, but so in some cases it seems like there must be because uh, the way people have things priced. But that's not my business. So I sold this on December first for fifteen bucks. Fifteen bucks free shipping on that fork, and uh, that was pretty cool. I didn't realize when I sold it that I had had it for so long, but it wasn't hard to find because I have. My inventory system all set up so that it only takes me minutes to to find the items that have sold. So, and I am so thankful, uh, actually for for the COVID shutdown because it it actually got me doing that. Can you believe I've, I've been doing this? I've been selling on eBay for twenty some years now, and I never did get an inventory system put in place. It took COVID, it took COVID to get me to put an inventory system in place, but it's done now. So, okay, next. Streams in the desert. Uh, this is just it's a it's a classic it's a classic uh, devotional readings book and I I'm not sure where I got it but I didn't pay anything for it. Oh, there's a there's a uh, no no nope, I don't remember. Anyway, I don't pay anything for it. So I listed it November fifth, sold it December first for I only got five bucks for it. Five bucks plus shipping and uh, when you when you don't pay anything for it, that's okay to do that. course then again uh it's not really selling for much more than that anymore i guess so it used to sell more not a lot more maybe maybe twice that but next all right these are the chronicles of narlia Nar narlia narlia they're the chronicles of narlia that's so gnarly dude no um <laughs> don't say it again dave don't say it again all right yeah Car chronicles of narnia paperback set i paid about two bucks for these uh I pick them up here and there when I can find them. So, uh, let's see. I listed it October 15th, sold December 1st for 13 bucks plus shipping on that. Next. There's quite a lot of sold items in this video, so it may take a while uh, for me to get through this video. So, um, feel free to go on with your lives if you don't want to continue watching. Or if you're doing other things, it's okay. List it, list it, list it. All right. So this is uh, three mugs, home interiors, uh, Sonoma Villa. I, I don't know, but uh, I had them around for a while. Let's see. I listed them. Oh, well, I paid two dollars and forty cents for them. I listed them October two thousand eighteen, October thirteenth, two thousand eighteen. So they've been around a while. They sold December first for twenty dollars plus shipping. I had some plates and stuff too. I think I might still, um, but I did sell some of them before. Some of the items that I bought before. So anyway, yeah. Next, this is a, a lid. It's a, off of a food processor. It's whatever you call it, a chute, uh, um, something. I don't know. Did I part it out? It doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like I parted this item out. I did part the, the entire thing out. I didn't get, I think most, some of the pieces were broken on it, so I couldn't really use them. I forget exactly how that worked. But anyway, um, I paid $1.75. I probably paid five bucks for the uh, for the thing, and I parted it all out. So, um, yeah, a buck seventy-five. So let's see. I listed it November 29th. It sold fast. November 29th, I listed it. I sold it December first for eight ninety-nine plus shipping. So cool. 
Uh, Clue, a Harry Potter. This is not the whole game. It's just our replacement parts. What did I sell? I sold some cards, student cards that were in there. 11 cents. 11 cents I paid. Uh, I usually get the games for 99 cents at Goodwill. A lot of games. Sometimes I get them for 2 bucks at the niche. Or 2 bucks or something at another place. That, uh, But I haven't found any of uh, the Clue Harry Potters in a while. I had, I had two of them. And uh, I broke them all down and sold them off in replacement parts. So, so anyway, I made the listing... Um, August 9th, 2017. So I've had the listing up for three years and I've been selling, I've been selling out of it ever since. Um, December 1st, I sold these, the cards for $8.88. So $8.88 plus shipping on those cards. It doesn't show, it shows $4.99 on here, but that's for a different part. So, okay, next. Levi's jeans. These, let's see, these are, uh, 26.25. Says here I didn't. Uh, ten regular. What is that? Ten regular. Is that that's is that girls or no? It says boys. Okay, it says okay boys. It's a boys size. So yeah, ten regular zero. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, I listed them March nineteenth, two thousand eighteen. So a couple years. Um, they sold December second for fifteen bucks plus shipping. Fifteen plus shipping. Next. They Saddled the West. Um, this is a book I had around here. It's been around for a long time. And I never did. I've been, uh, again, you know, COVID, COVID got me moving and getting some things uh, cleaned up and listed and getting things out. And this is one of them. This book, I, I didn't pay anything for this. I listed it. Well, I may have paid something for it at some time, but I've had it for so long now, unlisted, that I don't remember what I paid. So it's a zero. Uh I listed it November 25th. It sold December 2nd for I got $42 plus shipping for it. There weren't very many of them online, so I had it priced really high, and uh, I, I'm I'm cool with 42 bucks. That's fine. Definitely, since I don't know what I paid for it, nothing prior a dollar, maybe two. I may have gotten it for in a clean out. I just don't know, know remember anymore. So next, I've got to stop doing that. I got to get stuff listed. And, uh, but I got so much stuff backlog here that needs to be listed that, yeah, you know, I'm going to have that for a long time. So, all right. So this is a, a cookie press. It's an old Miro cookie press. Let's see. What do we pay for this? I paid a buck ninety nine for this because I'm crazy. Uh, I paid a buck ninety nine for it. I listed it September 5th. And my computer over here keeps going to sleep September 5th and sold it December 2nd. December 2nd for $10.99 plus shipping. So I made money. Cool. Next. I love it when I make money. I hate it when I lose money. But, you know, that's just a thing, too. So, all right. Uh, just an ornament. Just a regular old Christmas ornament. I I've, I got a bunch of these from a friend of mine a while back, and I, uh, I, got, them, I got them listed, and... Just recently, after Christmas, I sold the last of them. But this is before Christmas, so we're going to not talk about that. So I paid nothing for them because they were a gift. and uh, Well, not a gift. They were given to me. They didn't want them anymore, so they knew I could, they know that I resell. So they were happy to help me out with that. So that's very kind of them. Um, February 19th, 2019, they were listed. And, yeah, so basically it took me a year to sell them all. There was a lot. I listed a lot of them. It took me a... Uh, a year, yeah, about a year. yeah, well, well, like two years, almost two years. So, okay, uh, December second sold for six ninety nine plus yeah. shipping. None of them were pr were priced very high. They weren't in the best condition. So, so, uh, yeah, that's that. So, but they did really well. People were bringing in, uh, actually, people were bringing in these mercury glass. Um, bulbs uh, into the shop and they were selling they were sell, they sold like crazy this year they're really good seller i never did check any of the tops of these to see if they said shiny bright on them so i, I don't know if they were shiny brights or not better if they were but anyway next the heretics of dune this book scared me it took forever to get delivered i was really i was quite worried about it I even sent it. I'm pretty sure I sent it. I even upgraded to priority mail shipping on it, and it still took forever to get to get there. So, um, let's see. I paid. I paid a dollar ninety nine at Goodwill for it. I listed it 
October 25th, sold it December 2nd for $40 plus shipping. Uh, again, I took a little hit on the shipping because uh, because I shipped it priority, but uh, and it, I still it still didn't get there on time, even in time for Christmas. Yeah, I don't think it it might have got there just before Christmas. I don't remember, but yeah, it scared me. So I had a lot of scary ones. I still have one. I have one item that has not been delivered, um, and it's such a shame because it was such a neat piece. I don't know where it's at. It got lost going out of Denver, and it has never arrived um i did file for i did do all the i did file the missing package thing and you know and did all that and uh, i even they even called me and they were talking to me but they they really didn't offer yet much more insight that one didn't so they could find it if they wanted to they didn't the item that's lost um but i so i filed for the insurance after 30 days and I'm supposed to be getting a check in the mail. So, but it told me that the that it's been ex received that the the refund request has been received. It's not for the refund for the shipping. It's it's a refund because they lost my book. It wasn't delivered. So they're supposed to refund. Not my book. My uh, the item that sold was a lamp. Uh, maybe you'll see it sometime coming up here. So, all right. Anyway, that's enough of that. Dune you sold. Dune next. Uh, five highs, a pair of, pair of, pair of pantyhose, sandal pantyhose, sheer something, thigh highs it says, so they're not pantyhose, right? If they're thigh highs, they're, they're, aren't they separate? I think so. Oh no, that's, that's one of them things. Anyway, I found that the larger sizes of these do okay. So, anyway, alright, I paid 69 cents for it, listed it. March 31st took three years to sell 2017 took three years to sell um, I got a ton of these a while back and I just I just kept I just listed them I've sold most of them I don't have very many of them left anyway this sold December 3rd for 650 plus oh it has free shipping on a UG all right well they went first class so I eh, probably broke even on it maybe lost a little maybe made a couple not too much anyway so Next, that, that's a loser. All right, the uh, Living Bible paraphrased. Uh, this is a buck ninety nine. They paid for this at the Goodwill. Listed at May twenty seventh, and I sold it December third for seventeen dollars plus shipping. That was another one that. Well, I shouldn't. I don't need to tell you. A lot of them. Everything was late. Everything was late in December. So anyway, this is. Uh, we'll move on from that. And there's some some more some more. Uh, uh, shapely perfection, silky sheer legs, extra tall, misty gray women's silkies. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Uh, I paid zero. I don't know where I got them. I paid nothing for them. Um, listed them October 18th, 2019. So December 3rd for nine ninety eight free shipping. Yuck. Next, I hate when I have to say free shipping. Little House on the Prairie books. I guess these are kind of in trouble. The Little House on the Prairie books are kind of, kind of getting canceled. I guess anyway, mine sold. Uh, I paid two dollars for them. I listed them October twenty fifth. Sold December third for twenty bucks plus shipping. They used to sell a lot higher than that, but I'll take it. Next, peanuts. There's Schroeder and Schroeder and Lucy, nineteen ninety six Hallmark ornament. Let's see, uh, I paid nothing for that. I listed it June 13th, 2019. Sold it, sold it December 3rd for 16 bucks plus shipping. Woohoo! That's cool. Uh, it actually, I think I had took a, might have even taken a little battery or something in the bottom and, and done something. I'm not sure. It might have. I don't remember. Next. Took a while to sell though, didn't it? Yeah, it took a, over a year, year and a half. And that's a little, a little Lotus uh, Hot Wheels car. The little British kind of theme going on there, James Bondian kind of a look, kind of a vehicle. That thing, let's see. I didn't pay nothing for that. I listed it November 9th, sold December twelfth, December third for five bucks, five bucks plus shipping on that little Hot Wheels car. Next, I wish they sold better. I have so many of them. There are they're a bit of a pita 
for me to get rid of because I like them so much. Um, this is a, a spreader. It's a spreader knife. Spatula. Spatula. 8 inch spatula spreader. Flint arrowhead. See that? Flint arrowhead. That's what you want to look for right there. Flint arrowhead. Uh, USA made. I paid nothing for this. I listed it March 21st. Sold December 3rd for $10.99 plus shipping. Next. That's a Nerf gun. This this thing was horrendous in the mail system. Just, just horrendous. It was supposed to go to uh, a town downstate from me here in Pennsylvania. Um, it probably should have gotten there in two days. Instead, it went to Philly, and then it went to Jacksonville, Florida, and then, oh, it was missent. It was missent, so it was in Jacksonville, Florida for a while before they sent it back, because missent stuff doesn't get sent, doesn't get the good treatment. Went back to Philly, got stuck in Philly forever, till after Christmas, till after Christmas, and the thing was, uh, let's see, let's see, I list, what is it? Uh, I paid a buck ten for it. I listed it October 31st. I sold it December 4th. It was January before it got delivered. Um, but then it finally did get moving and, 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 and got delivered. I, just amazing. What a thing, man. What a thing. That, that was just, that was wild. Anyway, so it, it, uh, I got what I get for. I got eight ninety nine eight ninety nine plus shipping on that. So just, it was just a little thing. It wasn't very big. All right, next. The operation game. Was this the whole game? Nope. Replacement parts. I sold some replacement parts out of this. All right. What? Uh, what did I? Oh, I sold. I. I think I had. Did I have? I can't. No. Yeah. There is multiples. Okay. So. Uh. What did I sell? Did I? Did I put it on here? What I sold? Um. The game. The cards. There were twenty-four game cards. For using in the game, obviously. So twenty cents because I paid I paid like a buck for the game, so I broke it down and uh, twenty cents I paid for the cards, and uh, I listed November twelfth, sold December fourth for six ninety nine, plus shipping for the cards. So hopefully by the time it's all done and all the pieces are sold, I'll make like you know maybe you know twenty bucks on the game, which since it wasn't complete. Uh, or might have even been complete. They just doesn't sell. They didn't sell as a, as a whole. Uh, for very for like for like much money. I mean, not like 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 eight bucks. I mean, they it just wasn't selling. So, so I broke it down because some people will do that. They'll pay for just the part they want instead of buying a whole game. Just the way it is. So next, there she is, Baby Bob. Yay! 15 inch baby bop. Uh, cost me 50 cents. I listed it, uh, October 21st. Sold December 4th for 13 bucks plus shipping. 13 bucks plus shipping for the little plush. Again, I probably only picked her up from what? Because I watched Flippin' Hippo's videos. So, you know, that's, you know, that's how it is. So, next. Alright, this is a little, uh, it's a lid for some kind of a jar trinket box or whatever with an elephant. There's an elephant figurine on there if you couldn't figure it out. Apparently it was made by Jeanette quite a while ago then if it was made by Jeanette. Um, 33 cents I paid for this. I bought it in a in a bag lot, I'm going to say. I bought it in a, in a bag lot. Did I, where did I get that? Anyway, I paid 33 cents for it. I listed it March 11th. Sold December 4th for 8 bucks plus shipping. 8 bucks plus shipping. I was hoping since it was an elephant it would sell for more, but it is what it is, so... Hey, I still made money, so that's that's it. That's the deal. Next. All right. Uh, football helmets. I got these at the niche. Um, I, I bought quite a few of them. I, I, I sold some at the shop, I think. And I sold. I don't know if this is the only ones I sold. I don't remember if, if, how many of these I've sold now. So uh, anyway, there's 12 of them. I paid 15 cents because I bought them in a bag lot. Uh, 15 cents I paid, and. Let's see, uh, I listed them July 2nd, sold December 4th, for, where is it at, there it is, 15 bucks plus shipping, 15 bucks plus shipping for the mobile football helmets, how cool. Next, 
Avon, Cape Cod, don't buy this stuff. Well, there's a few pieces you can buy. You don't, you're not gonna make much money, but I think some of the pieces are pretty good though. Uh, I'm not positive. Anyway, there's four of these. I've had them forever. I don't know what I paid for them. I had them for a long, long, long time. Uh, let's see. These were listed March 18, 2020. They were listed before that, but they, they, when I went through and redid my inventory, I found a bunch of stuff that wasn't wasn't listed anymore. So I I, uh, I was able to get a lot of that. St I got pretty much all that stuff relisted. So because I've been through my whole inventory. So anyway, through everything that was listed, and and I went through and relisted the stuff. So they did sell eventually. They they did sell eight ninety nine on December fifth. I got eight ninety nine plus shipping on them. So um, which I'm okay with eight ninety nine plus shipping on that since my cost is probably negligent or whatever uh, so I'm good with that but I don't usually when I find this stuff I don't typically spend any money on it next record albums they're all Jimmy Swagger they're all sealed records all of them all ten records were sealed they've never been opened really nice condition um i'd have never thought i paid 69 cents each so that's six dollars and 90 cents i paid for all them records and uh i listed them september 4th they sold december 5th for 40 bucks 40 bucks plus shipping um i was pretty happy with that so uh 40 bucks plus shipping and but it took forever for them to oh it took forever for them to get delivered because I did, I did, they did go, I'm pretty sure they went media mail. No, not expedited. No, I sent them expedited. So, yeah, cool. Next. It, they may not have, it, it might have cost more than 1020 to ship. I don't know where they went, but that's, uh, that 1020 is from my, from my zone. Uh, that's not for, if it, if they, if they went to Minnesota or something, they, they paid more. They paid more than that. So, well, anyway, just so you know, you probably already know that. You don't need me to tell you that stupid stuff. All right, next. It's a little connects piece out of a out of a big playset that I that I got. Um, I broke it down into pieces because into replacement pieces because simply they just um, there was no real value. The box was pretty shot. Uh, I might have done all right with it. I mean the pieces were were like they they were never played with. I mean they were they were all sealed in the original bags, but the box was so big that it had to have been the shipping must have been horrendous on it and if it had been if i could have said brand new i probably could have gotten a little more for it but i couldn't say brand new so i didn't um yeah so anyway 16 cents i paid for this one guy sorry about snapping my my tongue there uh, uh i hate when i do that 16 cents i paid and i listed it april 25th sold December 5th for 10.99 plus shipping. Next. Striker. Striker rules. This is just a box that had like like some rules and stuff and different things like that. It wasn't really like any game pieces. I was it was pretty heavily taped when I got it. So I I picked it up cuz I saw that it sold and I figured well there's stuff in it. So but I didn't open it, and then when I got it home and I opened it, I was kind of disappointed because I, I thought it would have miniatures in it, but there were no miniatures in it, but there wasn't supposed to be, I found out. There wasn't supposed to be any mini mini miniatures in it. So, you know, it was good, so I went ahead and listed it, and I paid $0.99 cents for it. I listed it November 22nd, sold it December 5th, and I got 30 bucks, 30 bucks plus shipping for it, so... That was pretty exciting. So next, and these are choose your own adventure books, and it was nice to see that the prices were coming back around on those again. First one of these I ever sold was twenty some years ago. Now it's only twenty years ago, and, and I got twenty eight dollars for it. Listed it at uh, sold it at auction on eBay, and it went for twenty. I think it was like number ten, something like that. I want to say number ten, but anyway, um. They don't sell for that anymore, I don't think, but maybe some of them do. This one, my, my, those, those ones didn't. So I had them all lotted up. Uh, let's see. I paid three bucks for them. 
listed July 11th. They sold November 5th for $30 plus shipping. So, uh, really happy for that. That one, they, that one almost, the post office on my, almost got me on that one. The buyer was getting a little, um, not, not upset, but they were concerned about their, their books getting there all the time. So, uh, I think they got there like the day before Christmas or something, but, uh, they did get there on time and they were happy. So that's all that matters. Next. Alrighty, here we go. Uh, Princess Leia, uh, with Jabba the Hutt and the slave girl outfit and all that stuff. Um, way to go, McDonald's. Um, I think these were, no, were they, no, Burger King. Sorry, sorry, McDonald's, Burger King. You expect the king to do that. Alright, so 99 cents I paid for this class. I listed it November 22nd, sold December 5th for 8 bucks. 8 bucks plus shipping. I got three of these, um, the day I bought this. There wasn't any other ones from this series, just the three Slave Girl ones. Just three exactly same classes. Figure that. I don't know. They were filthy when I got them. I cleaned them all up real nice. Uh, and they all sold within a few days of one another, I think it was. So you might be seeing another one here. I don't know if they, it might be the next week. So, all right. Next. Uh, this is a, like a soup mug. It's a kind of a big, big hull, hull mug. Um, the brown drip, some of it's coming coming around. People are interested a little bit. I I got this. It was fifty cents. So uh, I listed it October. If I'd have had more of them, probably I would have gotten a better price. But it is what it is. So let's see. I listed it October nineteenth. Sold December sixth, and I got seven dollars plus shipping. Shipping was more than the the mug was. That happens a lot though. So um, next. Yeah, there it is. Uh, Carl's Carlsberg Carlsberg beer. It's a mug. Um, it's a plastic mug made by Thermoserve. And let's see. Uh, let's see. I picked it up at what? I picked it up at Goodwill. I think I did. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I paid ninety nine cents for it. I listed it November twenty second. Sold December sixth. I got. I, I took thirteen bucks for it plus shipping. Um, and yeah, I was happy with that. It, it it was disappointing when I got home and double checked on it. So um, usually the the app, the eBay app, when you're out and about and you're using your phone, you usually don't get all of the solds. You get some of the solds, and of course the ones you don't get are the lower priced ones. So I was happy with thirteen dollars. Next, you get Cherish Teddies, a uh, little little sheep and a, a donkey. Little I don't know if these are. They're just figurines. Um, I'm not sure where I got these. Let's see. They're, uh, I paid a quarter for them. I listed them February 15th, 2019. So they've been up a while. They sold December 6th. And I got $20 plus shipping for them. Probably why it took a long time. Because I probably had them heist. heist I, I had them heist. Uh, priced a little high, I think. So, uh, But they, they sold. So cool. Next. Had them heist. Loot crate. I picked up a bunch of these at, at the Goodwill one day. Um, they had them in the toys, and their toys are are are, are like a dollar ninety nine cents or whatever, something like that. So I paid a buck for this. Uh, I noticed after I went through and I picked I picked out all the ones with the best boxes. There was a lot of them. And I left the other ones, and I noticed the next time I went back that they'd repriced them for like three ninety nine a piece or something. But hey, I got mine for I got mine cheap, so I was good with that. Listed it uh, December 8th, 2018. I got some other ones, and they all sold quickly. These ones aren't apparently aren't as, aren't as good. I still have some. I still have some of these. So The other other ones, though, went pretty quick. So so anyway, this has been up for two years. Sold December 6th for $8.99 plus shipping. Uh, it's kind of disappointing that, of that, but they'll come back around. I should probably up the price a little. Next. They're just getting older. They're going to get harder to get. Uh, Bradford Star. This is a, a Noel Star. Tree Topper. 50 cents I paid. Listed December 21st, 2017. I don't buy these anymore. If I got it for free, it'd be different. But I don't I don't, I don't. don't buy these at all anymore. They just take too long to sell. Um, it sold 
Uh, what's that here? There it is. Uh, December 7th for 15 bucks plus shipping. They just, I think there's just too many of them. Or they're just not wanted anymore. Or people are just pricing them too, too cheap or something. But whatever it was, I, I couldn't sell mine. So, it doesn't really matter. Next. Obsession game. This one took forever to, to get where it was going to. This was, uh, this one gave me a bit of a scare too. Uh, Obsession. I paid a buck for this. I listed it October 30th. Sold it December 7th for $40 plus shipping. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I was pretty, pretty psyched about that. And then it seemed like it was lost, but it got there. Next. These three books, um, they also took forever to get there. They scared me as well. I got scared about everything. I never, I didn't have to refund uh, a anybody so far. The guy with the lamp, the guy with the lamp, um, I should probably refund him. I haven't yet, though. But anyway, um, he hasn't said anything to me, so I'm hoping that maybe it gets to him. So, all right. So, Countdown to the Rapture. These are uh, three books. These are books that came out after the original Left Behind series came out. So, these were like a continuation of it or whatever. Um, the Countdown to the Rapture. Uh, I paid a buck a piece, so I paid three bucks for them. I listed this December 1st, sold December 7th for $30. These these ones sell better than, than the other ones. The other ones, they're okay too, but these ones sell better. So keep that in mind. 30 bucks plus shipping. Sweet. Next. And let's see. What is it? Is this two of them or one of them? Uh, Revereware. Nope, just the one. It's the 9 and 3 quarter inch lid. I paid 50 cents. I uh, sold it. I listed it October 29th. Sold December 7th for $16.39 plus shipping. $16.39 plus shipping on that lid. So, sweet. Next. A yeah, little Brio. A little swinging, swinging, twisty bridge there. Kind of a thing there. Um, yeah. So. I paid 31 cents. I bought it in a big bag, big bag of them. I parted it all out. So 31 cents for this. Uh, listed it July 18th. Sold December 7th for $18.99 plus shipping. Yes! Rubik's Race. This was, uh, I think this is brand new. Was it new? No, it was used. It was used, but um, the parts had, the parts were never taken out of the bag. So it was open and the box was damaged, but the parts were never removed from the bag. So, uh, look, look, it says Bo in there in the condition section. It says Bo shows some crushing. Um, the X on my laptop doesn't, well, actually, I'm losing, I'm losing the X. I'm losing the J. The M is acting funny. Uh, what else? F. F doesn't act, doesn't act very well. Uh, and then number one, number one, number one doesn't hardly ever work. I have to use. Thankfully, I have a keyboard on the side of it that I can use that number one. But yeah, my laptop's not. That this one, this is my older one that I love. I have a new Dell, which is all right. Uh, that I actually use the. I'm actually the Dell is the one that's actually doing the video right now. I have a really ancient Toshiba upstairs that I adore. It's huge, but man, is that thing. It's always shutting down and always restarting. It, it's falling apart. Keys are falling off of it. It's just, but I love it. It's it's just my favorite. Um. Anyway, yeah, I I am off on something else. So, yeah. So anyway, this thing sold for our eighteen. No, this sold for what it what 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 fifty cents. I paid. I listed it November nineteenth. It sold December seventh. I took seven dollars plus shipping, and I think I was happy to do so. Next, pretty sure there's another and there's another uh, another ornament. There's this one and uh, uh, this next one, this one here. That's the two I sold both of those. Uh, they were listed February nineteenth, two thousand nineteen. They both sold December seventh for six ninety nine each, uh, plus shipping, which was combined. Uh, so that was it. That was the those that was the last thing I sold for the first week of December. What an interesting month December had been. Really stressful, very exciting, lots of sales. Uh 
I paid for everything that I sold for this week. I paid $38.04, and my total my my total sales were for this was $641.10. So that was my total sales for the week, and that's thrilling for me. Um, I don't I don't I, you know more than that would be great. Less than that's okay. Even less than that, I'm, I'm cool. If I make 300 350 bucks. Three hundred, three hundred fifty dollars a week on, on eBay. I'm pretty happy. Um, it's it's not my only source of income. I, I have other things. I have the shop. I you know and, and stuff. So, but uh, but you can't expect to make a whole lot when you're not diligently listing. And I am not diligently listing because I'm doing other things. So that's that. Uh, sometimes I just I just want to live my life. So anyway, yeah, six hundred forty one dollars and ten cents and. Uh, I, I'm thrilled about that. Thanks for watching. If you made it all the way through, fantastic, great. Give me a give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. If you didn't enjoy the video, give me a thumbs down. Um, and uh, yeah, let, let me know what you think if you if you want to. Uh, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Keep listening. Bye bye.